Welcome everyone to our dimensional analysis class. I am your teacher Mr. Jacketson Goho. To set you up in this subject, we will have first a review of the following topics which are very helpful in our succeeding discussions. This session will review you about fractions, mixed numbers or mixed fractions, the rules in performing operations on fractions and mixed numbers decimals, conversion of decimals, and the rules in performing operations on decimals. So, let us recall what is fraction. Fraction is one of the equal parts into which a whole is divided. There are two types of fraction, proper fraction in which the numerator is less than its denominator and improper fraction in which the numerator is greater than its denominator. Next, we have the operations on fractions. Now, let us recall the rules in adding or subtracting fractions. You can add or subtract similar fractions or fractions that have similar denominator directly. For dissimilar fractions or fractions that have different denominators, you need to find the least common denominator, LCD, before you can proceed to the operation. For example, 3 over 6 plus 2 over 6. Since they have the same denominator which 6, so you can add directly the numerators and copy the common denominator. If the answer is still reducible or can be expressed in lowest terms, then express it in simplest terms. Another example, 5 over 6 minus 4 over 6. Just subtract directly the numerators and reduce the answer if reducible. To add dissimilar fractions, you need to determine the least common denominator or LCD of the fractions involved. For example, 7 over 15 plus 1 over 5. Since LCD is the least number that can be divided by the denominators of the given fractions, then we can say that the LCD of 15 and 5 is 15. In this example, 1 over 5 is being expressed to higher terms in which the denominator of the new terms is the LCD. After that, we can add the fractions as similar fractions. Next example, 7 over 8 minus 5 over 16. In this example, we can determine that the LCD of the 2 is 16. So, we are going to express 7 over 8 to higher terms in which its denominator will be the LCD. To make it, we multiply it by 2 over 2. Then, we can proceed to the operation. As you can see in the solution. Reminder, always express your answer in simplest form in doing operations on fractions. Next, let's have the multiplication of fractions. In multiplying fractions, just multiply numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. For example, 1 over 4 times 2 over 3. So, multiply 1 to 2, that is 2. Then multiply 4 and 3, that is 12. So the answer is 2 over 12 which is reduced to 1 over 6. Dividing fractions. In dividing fractions, first you need to determine the reciprocal of the divisor. Second, proceed to multiplication applying the rules of multiplication of fractions. Then you can either reduce the fractions during the process by applying the cancellation process, or you just reduce it in the final answer. Now let's have the mixed numbers. So, what are mixed numbers? It is a combination of a whole number and a fraction. Adding mixed numbers. Add separately the whole numbers and the fractions, add similar fractions, otherwise find the LCD, then combine the results. To subtract mixed numbers, there are several rules that we are going to follow. 1. As usual, change the fractions to similar fractions. 2. Subtract the whole numbers and fractions separately. 3. If the minuend is a whole without a fraction, borrow one from it and change it into a fraction whose numerator is equal to the LCD and from this fraction subtract the subtrahend fraction. 4. If the subtrahend fraction is greater than the minuend fraction, borrow one from the minuend whole number and change it into a fraction whose numerator is equal to the LCD, add this to the minuend fraction and from the result subtract the subtrahend fraction. To multiply mixed numbers, change first the mixed numbers to improper fractions, then multiply them as ordinary fractions using cancellation if possible. Then, change the final product to a mixed number and reduce the fraction to its lowest terms. To divide mixed numbers, change the whole or mixed numbers to improper fractions, then invert the divisor or divisors and multiply. For example, 9 divided by 3 and 1 eighth. 9 divided by 3 and 1 8 equals 9 1 divided by 25 eighths equals 9 1 times in 25 equals 72 25 or 2 22 25. Adding or subtracting decimals. To add or subtract decimals, align the decimal points then add or subtract as integers. Put the decimal point of the sum or difference aligned to the decimal points of the decimals involved. Multiplication of decimals. 
multiplied decimals as regular integers. To determine the decimal places in the product, add the decimal places of the multiplicand and the multiplier. Another operation, is dividing decimals. To divide decimals, move the decimal point to the right both in the divisor and in the dividend as many decimal places as there are in the divisor, divide as integers, and place the decimal point in the quotient just above the decimal point in the dividend. Divide up to the desired number of decimal places in the quotient. That's all for this session class. This is your teacher Mr. Jacketson Goho saying, thank you and God bless you all.